Hey, it's Savage Ryan. Welcome back to my adventures. Uh, as you can see, it's kind of dark out. But I am at my campsite, and I'm going to try to camp in my Bronco tonight. So let's uh, let's check how this is going to work. All right. So obviously at the four door, and I've got I brought this pad. And, yeah, all right. Now you can see it. So I brought this pad. It's going to drop in. But first, I'm going to lower these seats. So if you haven't seen how to lower these seats, it's pretty easy. Just boom. Ta da! All right, so now I gotta go to the other side and lower that side. Then I'll be able to drop my my sleeping pad. Now this isn't exactly flat, and you'll see that there's like a drop, like a three inch and like a two inch drop, maybe. Um, so I won't really need pillows, but I brought pillows. <laughs> so we'll see how it works. All right, dropping seat number two. Oop. Let's try this again. Boop. Boop. Done. All right. And then I'll move my pillows out of the way. Oh. And drop my pad. Um. Okay. Oh, I got to remove the seats for it. I got to move the seats for it. All right. See? Ta-da. Fits in the back. This is a, it's like a twin size mattress um, for a camper. That's what, I got it out of my camper actually. So, uh, but yeah, you can see, let's see. Open up the back. Actually, I have a bunch of my stuff under here, but you can see back there that like three, three, three inch raise. So if, if this is feasible, I'm gonna have, I need to get like, get some two by fours to kind of make a frame to sit in there. That way I can have some storage under the bed and then my bed will have something solid to sleep on. Man, that, this is gonna be awesome. All right. All right, so I'm sitting inside the Bronco on my little bed here. And uh, I got a little bit of headroom, you know? I mean, I can hit my head on that the beam, but uh, like I got like plenty of headroom on the, on the soft top so I can sit up. Uh, let's see, I can show you, that's the back. You got plenty of room, man. It's nice to be able to sit up in here. Uh, I think I'm gonna lock the doors. I can still like reach everything in the front and I can, I, I got enough storage, like space to put uh, my shoes and all my gear. So I kind of like it. This is kind of cool. I mean, Maybe I can sell my camper and just do this. <laughs> or, you know, whatever. All right, good morning. So you can see a little bit better how much space I have. Um, because I'm slanty, <laughs> I had to put that bag down there on my feet so I didn't rub my expensive sleeping bag on the on the metal there. Plus, it was just cold. That, that metal touching the sleeping bag just was making my feet cold so as you can tell you can kind of see that I didn't vent um my windows or anything I figured the soft top provided enough ventilation but it's still got a little a little foggy in here not too bad I'm sure if you cracked your windows uh that, that would probably help so so but overall not too bad I think if uh I think I think this pad is not the best. <laughs> it was pretty firm, but I think if I again build like a little platform down here, just I mean like I said, a couple two by fours, frame it out, um maybe with a, a piece of plywood as a as a top layer. That way it just it matches uh, th this this matches uh, right here, so your feet match where the seats fold down. Because where the seats fold down, just you said three inches higher. So overall, not bad. Just watch your head on the on the back on the back beam here. I've hit it a few times, even though like I feel like it's not even in my way. I've still come up and hit it, but uh, the roof. 
this part is, uh, has not been bad for me. I, I imagine if you're a little bit taller, you may have some issues. But overall, yeah, I really liked it. Yeah, so tell me what you think. Do you think this is a good idea? Do you do you like do you like this setup? You think? I mean, obviously, I think if I if I were to set it up better, like if I were to actually do the platform, like this was just a test run, see if it was even plausible. So I think it's pretty plausible. I, I had a pretty good night's sleep, other than you know feeling like I was rock climbing all night because I was a little slanty. Uh, in fact, I probably could have just backed up five feet and and leveled. My Bronco would not have been level, but my sleeping area would have been level. So I think if I would have done that, I would have been a lot more comfortable. Or just, like I said, build that platform. I think this would be great. Very viable. So plenty of room, especially for a single guy. Um, I'm I'm 5'9", so I got plenty of room. I imagine if you're over 6 foot tall, it'd be pretty, pretty tight. So, um, anyways, tell me what you think. Tell me... Uh, Put, put down in your comments if, if you were to do something different, if you have a better idea for the platform, or if you have, uh, if you actually have a better setup yourself, or you're just like, no, nah, this is stupid, don't do it. <laughs> Whatever, just let me know. And uh, I appreciate you watching, and I'll see you on the trail.